So my name is Cantona Eric Ouko. So my three official names. Um, the idea behind the name Eric Cantona was uh, my dad was a big Manchester United fan and um, he liked the French footballer who played for United, Eric Cantona. I was born around the same time uh, he was retiring. So I am um, that is how I got the name Eric Cantona. Having been born in Nyanza, uh, I was definitely introduced to football. That was the first sport that I ever knew. I've, um, I've always been a big football fan. I played football as a, as a kid um, until f around Form 3. Yeah, so all along I've been pl I was playing football. I, I grew up in, uh, in uh, Migori County. Migori County had one of the top Kenya Premier League teams in uh, Sony Sugar. So I was exposed to the top tier of uh, Kenyan football at a young age, so definitely growing up that was uh, one of my many dreams to play professional soccer for okay. Kenya. Okay, did you, uh, so you say you had an association with Sony Sugar? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was once at the Sony Sugar Academy. In, when I was in primary school, I played for the academy. Um, it changed to rugby when I was in Kanga High School, where I went to high school um, in Form 3. Form 3, the final term of Form 3, that's when um, the interest in rugby grew. I had a friend who was also my classmate, uh, he was called uh, Timothy Ochil. Um, he's a good friend of mine, so he, he was the incoming captain at that time and was also a classmate and was a, a close friend. So he is the one who introduced me to the game, technically. It was scary. I was a tiny boy. I was little. So I was scared of the big boys and uh, big sizes. But he kept coming with me to training kept encouraging me to play. Um, so um, the one reason why I got over the fear was uh, he advised me to play at fly off or scrum off occasionally because there there is very little contact. Your job is primarily to distribute the ball so you don't get that much into contact. Did you ever contemplate to quit in your early days because of too much contact? and? Uh, uh, no. No, um, the moment I stepped into the field, uh, I, I just figured there was no going back for me. Um, actually, the point where I was like, um, I'm going to do this for a long while, was in one of the incoming outgoing games. Since I played as a Form 3, I played in the incoming and outgoing games where the remaining team plays against the outgoing team, mostly Form 4s. And I had a good game as uh, compared to most beginners or most amateurs. So that encouraged me to just keep going. Did you feature in any of the yeah, school yeah. games tournaments? And yeah, maybe which level did you reach? Um, my best moments were sevens. The sevens uh, counties that, that were played, uh, the sevens counties that were played uh, at uh, Rakwaro Secondary School, I was I was the MVP. So I think that for me was one of the best moments playing rugby in high school. Um, as expected, <laughs> the reaction wasn't good. Um, I was like I said, I was a tiny boy, and uh, at that time I was. Um, what, they, what, what, what they would call a softy. So, and rugby is definitely a big contact game. So my dad, my parents were not for the idea of me playing rugby. Plus, um, generally, my parents were for me to take the more academic route of everything. So they weren't for the idea that I was, I was supposed to play rugby because it was going to take up most of my time. Yeah. How did you convince them? I, I didn't have to convince them. I just kept on playing. 
I was admitted to Masinde Muliro University on a CUSUPS selection. So I came to Moose and uh, found there was uh, Moose Rugby. So that was it for me. Oh. That was the first professional club that I played for in Kenya, Moose Rugby. I joined Moose when they were in their first season in the championship. Yeah, they just got into championship and that is when I joined them. Um, the first game watching was uh, Moose versus uh, Western Bulls. It was my introduction to the Western Rugby. Western Region Rugby and I have to say it was it was um, a little bit scary because uh, the game ended in skirmishes it ended yeah. in a brawl people fought the ref had to be escorted out of the uh, out of the school because the game was being hosted at uh, most the ref had to be escorted with security out of the uh, school premises but uh, it was a good experience it was the first time watching uh, watching pro professional rugby being played for me. I can't say I found it so hard to adapt because um, when I came to most everybody was welcoming, um, everybody was accommodating to the freshmen who are joining the team. Um, I came to see another side of rugby because um, mostly in Nyanza we were taught the the fancy rugby, the rugby that involved a lot of passing and a lot of running. But in Western, there's this bashing rugby, where people just, um, the, the rugby is more physical, let me say that. So I was introduced to a different aspect of rugby, but uh, the team was welcoming, so I didn't really struggle to adapt into the team. I played my first um, full match, full match debut was in the second season of championship against uh, KCRFC. Yeah, at home. That was my full debut. I would attribute the taking that long to debut because of the the size. As compared to everybody on the team, I was like the smallest. Even though I was skilled, I was good at the game, but I was small smaller than most people smaller than most opponents so there was um the, the 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 coaches were really protective of me they didn't want me to get hurt so they they kept waiting for me to mature up and uh, grow up a little bit more grow a little bit bigger so that i could stand for myself on the rugby pitch I would say that uh, my success in rugby is greatly attributed to my uh, footballing skills. Um, I, uh, I have a good record with the boot. I'm good with the boot and I attribute all of that to my uh, soccer, soccer skills. I was good at football. I, am, I still am good at football actually at the moment. And so um, it helped me so much with uh, my kicking. That's why I am, I am among, I, I think I'm, not I think, I know I'm ranked among the best fly halves in the country. That is because of my, my boot, my kicking skill. I learned most of that from football. Just like the name suggests, Makaka, we are a group of brothers who love each other. Who are, who are always there for each other whenever uh, we need each other. So um, I could say that the success of the team greatly lies on the relationship between the players. The brotherliness between the players really impacts on the team when it comes to the field. So when you play, you know you're not playing only for yourself. You're playing for your next man and your next man, this side and this side. You're playing for more than just you so when we have the match day 23 man squad you know you're not only playing for the 23 you're also playing for the rest of the 80 who didn't make the squad because the most fraternity is such a big group of campus boys who come together to play rugby for themselves and uh, for the team um the build-up to us being promoted to kenya cup 
I think that was one of the moments where we really bonded as brothers. Uh, that is one of the biggest moments for us. That is one of the moments where I saw a group of young boys with a dream to play in the top league of the country come together and work together to just achieve that one goal with just one single match. We trained for, for almost two or three weeks just to play for 80 minutes. And uh, at the end of the game, the results really showed how hard we had worked for that moment. Um, the dream to play at the top flight rugby brought the team together. Everybody came in for us, even the, the management, the school management came in to support the team just to achieve that one dream to play at the top tier. Comparing my first match in uh, Kenya Cup and my first match in championship, the intensity was definitely different. But at least this time, I had gained um, some experience. I had been around uh, different players, learned a lot of different things. So I wouldn't really say that I struggled to adapt to the top flight of Kenyan rugby, but it was a good experience, I would say that. Mm, first yeah. season, you missed uh, the playoffs uh, with, yeah. I think, uh, less than five points? Yeah, five points. We, we ended up at number six, I think. Yeah, yeah the playoffs were... Cut at number four. Cut at number four, yeah. So, uh, uh, maybe, how did you feel missing out uh, the champion, uh, the, the, the playoffs? And um, uh, did it have an impact to the team heading to the following season? Yeah, I, I would say it had an impact on the team because now we, we, we believe that we could do it because we were only short by a few points. So for us to be there for the first time in the league uh, and miss playoff by just some points, yet we were newbies, that was uh, encouragement to us that we could do it. it. It didn't matter who was brought to us, but we knew we could do it. In as much as it was also a disappointment not making it, but... Uh, it, it encouraged us to believe in ourselves more that we could do it despite being the newbies in the block. I wouldn't say there was a problem per se. Like uh, most of the games, we finished most of the games and after that if somebody asked me what happened or, or what did you do wrong in this game, uh, we, we didn't really have the answer because every time we were into that field, we gave it our all. We did everything we could. It's not like we slackened. Yeah? We, like they say in Swahili, tulijituma, mm -hmm. but ilikata. Yeah, that, that, that's the best I can say. Tulijituma, lakini ilikata. But um, it, was, it was not our easiest of seasons. It was a, it was a rough season, but one thing I learned from, from it is that. Um, on some days you will win, on some days you will lose, but all that matters is how you come back. Um, throughout the whole season, our coach, Dr. Otieng Ahaya, and uh, assistant coach, uh, Dr. Uh, Mr. John Asila, the, they kept saying, it doesn't matter how many times you fall, all that matters is how many times you rise up. So that kept us going and uh, it ended up being one of the roughest seasons for us. But I wouldn't complain. We live, we learn. I think for me, each and every season that I've played for the team, each and every season that I've won the blue and white of most rugby has its own high points. So I'll just mention the, three, the top three for me in, in each season. The first season was... Uh, the first season for us in Kenya Cup, my best moment was definitely stepping into the field for the first time playing Kenya Cup rugby. That was like the biggest achievement for me. Then uh, the second season, which for me still remains the best season for me playing Kenya Cup rugby. Um, that season had a lot of highs. It had a lot of highs and uh, it will be difficult for me to choose but my favorite moment would be the away game versus Nakuru. 
we won that game. I don't really remember the scores, but I was a man of the match. So that was, for me, that season, that was one of my best, best seasons. Because, um, okay, to, to, to mark the match, I think it was the match where the, one of the most widespread pictures of me doing a celebration copied from Edison Cavani, the arrow thing. Yeah, that was one of my favorite matches. Then the third season, which we just finished, um, um, my favorite moment was um, playing against Nakuru at home. I think Nakuru are my favorite team to play against. Uh, playing against Nakuru at home. Uh, we lost the match, but I think for me the whole season, that was one of my best performances. Um, I, I had a... I had a consistent performance the whole game throughout the 80 minutes, um, scoring a couple of points, a uh, 40 meter drop goal, a uh, try and uh, some conversions. So uh, for me, in the third season, that was one of my top moments. Getting relegated. <laughs> that, that definitely had to be the lowest moment, getting relegated. The greatest lesson that I from uh, this period that I've played rugby is you only win when you work hard. It, it doesn't come easy. It never comes easy. You have to work hard for it to come. You have to earn everything you have, everything you wish for, you have to earn. It doesn't come easily. So I just learned that you have to work hard. And I also learned that uh, you have to stay positive. It, it's, it never goes your way every time. It never, you never win every day. So you have to stay positive and uh, have a positive mentality. That way, that way you, you will enjoy playing rugby. Yeah. Wokorach. That came from... Uh, that came from one of my, uh, let me say, mentors. I, he's called Elvis, Elvis Amunya. So Elvis Amunya is a, a player for Moose Rugby. So when I joined uh, Moose Rugby for the first time, um, the first week of training sessions, they didn't really know my name, plus the Cantona part. It was, it's, it's not that easy to say when you keep saying Cantona every time. So. He called me Wokos, Wokorach, uh, after the famous Ugandan superstar, Philip Wokorach. Um, he thought, or Elvis thought that uh, we looked alike and I played almost like him. So that is where the name Wokorach came from. Which players do you look up to? Um, I definitely start with Philip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a mentor, he's a friend. Yeah, we, we talk, he tells me how to do some things. Um, I also look up to former Cabras flyer or utility back, Kevin Keegan. Um, he's, he's just fun to watch with the ball in hand. Yeah, he's somebody I really look up to. Um, international scenes, I'd say Marcus Smith, the English and uh, Kenya Harlequins flyer. He's young, he's talented, um, he's, uh, he's just one person who I'd really like to play like. And I, I, I think his style of play is something that I'd easily emulate because uh, we have almost the same style of play. And uh, there's also Henry Pollard for South Africa and Leicester Tigers. In, in Super Rugby, I support uh, the Blues. In uh, South Africa, I support the Sharks. Um, in England, I'm a big fan of Queens, uh, the Harley Queens. Um, in countries, I support South Africa. I'm a big fan of the box. So those are my teams internationally. I'd really like to play for the Simbas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd really, I'd really like to, to get in there and compete with the boys who are playing at number 10 and uh, see what it has for me. 
but I'd really like to wear the the Kenyan colors, either for Shujaa or for Simba, but that is just the goal at the moment, to wear the Kenyan flag. I'd really like to to send this message out to everybody who plays rugby out there, every young kid, both girls and boys who are out there who have a dream to play at the topmost level of rugby in Kenya. Stay positive, believe in yourself, and uh, work hard. Nothing comes easy, but when you work for it, it will, it will always trace, trace you where, wherever you are.